Hello friends, my name is Tejan Rajangir. Here I am discussing the objective solution of PS Vimra for transformer. From question number 21 to question number 30. Okay, next video is coming soon for the unsolved problem of electromagnets from series outline. Okay, and coming soon solutions are power electron, power electronics by PS Vimbra, EMFT Matthew and Oside DQ, electromagnets from series, and many more. So don't forget to subscribe Reference Tech Education channel. Okay, now come to the question number 21. In oil fluid transformer, oil is provided for a cooling, B insulation, B both cooling and insulation, and D preventing the preventing the accumulation of dust. Now to the solution. Oil separate all three winding, all three phase winding. To provide insulation okay and oil is connected with conservator tank which circulate the oil in whole area in transformer to provide the cooling okay so the cooling and insulation both are provided by the oil in transformer cooling is provided uh, provided by the help of conservator tank conservator tank okay which circulate the oil in whole part for uh, cooling and insulation to separate all three winding uh, all three winding and all uh, to separate the winding to the body also so the insulation is also so the option c is correct now come to the question number 22 the transformer core are laminated to reduce uh, a eddy current losses b hysteresis losses both eddy current and hysteresis losses and d ohmic losses now come to the solution when core of the transformer is laminated with the help of laminated strip then eddy current losses are reduced the the laminated strip like, like this this is the note uh, here uh, this is the core of the transformer okay that is not laminated okay now the eddy current are like this so the stress losses are very large in this type of core now if we divide these all uh, now we placed in between these strip laminated core after providing the laminated core the path the resistance in the path of eddy current is reduced by reducing the eddy current the eddy current losses are reduced so the option a is correct now come to the question number 23 crgo that is cold rolled grain oriented steel lamination in a transformer are used to minimize a eddy current losses b hysteresis losses c both eddy current and hysteresis losses and d ohmic losses now come to the solution when core of when core of the transformer is made up made with the help of silica okay then eddy current losses are reduced because by introducing the silica resistivity of material is increases and eddy current losses are inversely proportional to the resistivity of the, uh, of material okay if the by introducing silica resistivity increase by increasing this uh, resistivity eddy current losses are also reduced okay so silica is used in the crgo steel okay and by introducing the crgo steel it means silica with cold rolled cold rolled grain oriented process okay in the material okay by introducing crgo in material permeability of the material is increases due to this area of the stress loop reduce what is permeability permeability to permit the magnetic lines of force okay the magnetic lines of force are increasing in the met in the core by increasing the magnetic line magnetic lines the uh, ability to permit the magnetic lines are increases if the high magnetic lines are flow in the core then the uh, hysteresis loop is reduced okay that is soft iron okay we call that is soft iron okay so the hysteresis loop is reduced so the hysteresis loss is also reduced so the c is correct both eddy current losses and hysteresis losses both are reduced 
now come to the question number 24 in case of the power transformer the no load current in terms of rated current is 10 to 20 percent b 2 to 6 percent of full load current 15 to 30 percent of full load current and 30 to 50 percent of full load current now come to the solution the no load current is only due to the magnetizing branch of the transformer which has very high impedance okay so it really it is very low at no load at no load input current is 2 to 6 percent of full load current why this is due to the due to this magnetizing branch only due to the magnetizing branch no load current i node is flow and the very large resistance that is r node and very large xm very large impedance occur in the at no load due to this large load due to this large impedance large no no load impedance the no load current is very very low okay that is 2 to 6 percent of full load so the answer b is correct now come to the question number 25 if a transformer primary is energized from a square wave voltage source okay then its output voltage will be a zero b a sine wave c a triangular wave a, and a d a positive wave now come to the solution when we applied the square wave at the primary side now by using the e equals to minus n d5 by dt e is a square wave okay now by integ integrating the e we get flux this flux wave is triangular wave now this flux triangular wave is in uh, make connection with this secondary winding okay now this triangular wave is differentiated differentiated by the help of d5 by dt <coughs> that is v2 equals to n d5 by dt okay so the triangular wave also differentiated difference then it become pulsed wave that is square wave so the answer d is correct now come to the question number 26 the primary 220 volt side okay of 226 volt 50 hertz transformer is connected to the 110 volt 60 hertz source the secondary output voltage will be a 3.6 volt b 3 volt 2.5 volt 1.667 volt now come to the solution this is the simple question okay now as mentioned in the question this is the primary voltage and this is the frequency and this is the also the primary voltage at different frequency okay so the e by f ratio is not constant the, the flux in the transform is not constant or constant okay so the if the frequency is increases from 50 to 60 hertz then the flux of the transformer is decreases okay by decreasing the flux frequency by increasing the flux flux is decreases so both f and phi are constant the product of f and phi are constant due to this emf is constant so the b is the correct answer now come to the question number 27 the no load current in the transformer leg by the applied voltage by a 90 degree b about 75 degree c 0 degree d about 110 degree now come to the solution this is the equivalent circuit of the transformer where r node is the resistance in resistance and xm the magnetizing reactance and I know it is the no load current now this is a phasor diagram at no load due to the very high impedance very high resistance ie that is exciting current core loss component of no load current is very very low 
and magnetizing current in inode the part of magnetizing current is high so the angle in between the v 